Jessica, have I come at a bad time? Gerald, this is Harvey Specter. He's our best closer. It says here that Cooper won't be staying on as honorary vice president. That's right, I don't want him around. He wouldn't be around. It's an honorary position. I don't give a shit. Well, I think you do, because that's what's changed since I left, which means it's you who's been dealing in bad faith. Well, now that you've got a grasp on what's happened in the goddamn interim, what are you going to do about it? Because he's not getting that title. Well, let me make sure I understand this, OK? We negotiated a deal that gave you everything you wanted. Mr. Cooper signed it. And now you won't close until we take away the last shred of his dignity? Bingo. Well, that's not going to happen. And why the hell not? Because I like Mr. Cooper, and my firm doesn't operate in bad faith. Oh, I see how it is. Instead of working Cooper, you're working me. Well, why don't you take your pansy attitude back in there and make him sign my deal? Or I'll pay someone else your money to do it for me. Well, first of all, Gerald, if you think anyone's going to touch this deal after your bad faith, you're mistaken. Second, the way our agreement works is the minute Cooper signed the deal which gave you everything you wanted, our fee was due and payable, which is why at 7.30 I received confirmation of a wire transfer from escrow indicating payment in full. So I'd say the ball's in your court, but the truth is your balls are in my fist. Now, I apologize if that image is too pansy for you, but I'm comfortable enough with my manhood to put it out there. Now, get your ass in there and close the goddamn deal. Thought you weren't coming. I had to settle the case first. You have the paperwork we talked about? What is this? copy of the Judicial Conduct Codes. A friend of mine works at the Attorney General's office. He gave it to me. We had a nice chat about you. I told him if you were willing to blackmail someone once, chances are you've done it before. He's very anxious to meet you. You think you can get away with screwing my wife and then have me investigated? You actually have it the wrong way around. The only thing I've done so far is have you investigated. What? I never actually slept with Lauren. But I knew you'd never believe me, so I kept my mouth shut. But now that she's getting a divorce, my policy no longer applies. And of course, she's free to date whoever she pleases. And she pleases me. Enjoy your evening, Donald. Somebody call the police? You, you, what are you, what are you doing here? Hey, Matt. Relax. The detective was across the street the whole time. We knew Jason would send somebody. What? Who do you think told Jason you went to the police in the first place? I did. Harvey showed me the results of the DNA test. Two splotches, Jason Black's and yours. <sighs> OK, um, uh, I, I want to file a report. Oh. Sure. I'll take you downtown. You Look through the books, maybe you find something. Maybe you don't. But your real problem isn't that guy. It's Jason Black. Somebody was going to turn him in once before. And I think you know the lengths he'll go to to shut somebody up. No, I don't. No, I don't. We were here this time. We won't be here next time. Next time? What would have happened if he were to kill me this time? Well, you'd be dead, and we'd have caught the guy and used him to put Jason away from murder. Shit, we should have done that, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Harvey, behave. What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Confess to the crime. Turn in Jason Black. No, I can't do that. Yes, he can. I'll tell you why. You were 16. A juvenile. That's three years maximum. Less if you're the one who comes forward. We'll get you a deal. Oh, you can't make that promise. You're not the DA. You'd rather negotiate with Jason? Because he'll kill you and you know it. It was his idea. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. OK. Get dressed. You come with me. Go. Hey, by the way, how did you get that bruise? Sometimes the good guys got to do bad things to make, make the, the bad, bad guys, guys pay. pay. That's right. So Lise has not only agreed to drop the suit, but to retire from the game as well. Well, maybe you're not the asshole I thought you were. I'm not done yet. In return, you're never going to talk about him again on the air. So he walks away with his reputation intact? 
That's the deal. No, 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 no. You know I'm right. And you want me to step off the gas right when I got him? Screw that. You want to know how I know you're right? Mike? I believe you know Ruben Hernandez. You said you wouldn't tell anyone I was your source. I didn't tell them. I didn't. Bullshit. Hey, Mike, get him out of here. I promise we'll fix this. Come on. You son of a bitch, you're supposed to be on my side. This is me being on your side. You make me win this in court, I'll have to do it by making Ruben testify. So the cost of ruining Salise's reputation will be that kid's career. And by the way, everyone will think the same as he does. You gave him up to save your own ass. That's a lie. Doesn't matter, they'll think it anyway. But hey, that's just one man's opinion. You wanna protect your source, take the deal. Gentlemen, as you are now in control of the company, we thought it best to bring a problem to your attention. How selfless of you. These are amended copies of the allegations against your company by the Jarvis Homeowners Association. Nice try. I looked into those allegations. Not a single expert has backed one of their claims. Oh, one has now. Keith Hoyt. Who better to speak to the harmful effects than the man who designed the wind farm himself? No, no. If he goes through with this, that company goes out of business. There's no way he kills his own company. You're right. He wouldn't, but I would. And as you pointed out, Keith's judgment has been impaired lately, so I convinced him to let me make the decisions going forward. I now have power of attorney, and I'd rather see this company worth nothing than let you have it. This is bullshit. Let him finish. Something's coming. We have three choices here. We move forward with the suit, lose-lose. We can give you your money back, plus the 500000 or you and I can play poker for it and I'm not giving you your money back. Harvey Specter has refused to take a mandatory drug test, leaving me no choice but to terminate his employment. As is his right, he's requested a hearing to dispute this. Thank you, Daniel. But I'm not here to dispute anything. After all, I was high. I was high because I was being forced to work for you. A man who, it turns out, knew CM was negligent before I ever even took the case. Uh, this is not the time. Shut up, Lewis. Don't do this. If you go, I go. Do you deny knowing about the defects? Unequivocally. And you deny writing this memo? Sending it to Tanner, knowing that he would come after this entire firm? That's why he settled. Because you told him it wouldn't hold up. Well, it's wild conjecture. And it's bullshit. Why'd he settle? He settled because I did what I do. That is not an answer. Yes, it is. This ends here. The two of you have now slandered me, which violates the morality clause of the partner's agreement. It's not slander if it's the truth. Unfortunately, you don't have a shred of evidence because the evidence doesn't exist. Well, actually it does. This is a partner's only meeting. So have Tanner sue me, but in the meantime, I think the rest of the partners are gonna wanna see this. It's a signed affidavit from Lawrence Kemp stating that he told Daniel Hardman about the defects in the CM hood six years ago. May 7th was the date of that meeting, per your calendar, to be exact. You just denied knowing anything about that, unequivocally. I guess you were just lying to cover up the fact that you were behind this entire suit in the first place. Is that the basis of this? A coerced lie from a man trying to say, my lawyer made me do it. No way that holds up in court. Doesn't have to just has to make these Harvard-educated lawyers understand that you made each and every one of them spend $100,000 of their own money to buy you control of my firm. I think we've heard all we needed to hear. Harvey has admitted to violating the drug policy. All those in favor of his dismissal? Looks like you lost. I'm glad you brought up the bylaws. Fraudulently suing your own firm is grounds for firing. You have no proof of that? All those in favor of Daniel Hardman's dismissal. Hey, Harvey, I know I'm not a partner, but do you mind if I... Go ahead. Nice. Daniel, that $3 million of our money you've spent on yourself, consider your partnership bought out.